Hey guys! So today's video is a little bit different from what I normally do. I thought I'd sort of steer away from the hauls and um, Yankee candles and I thought I'd do something a little bit different. Um, a few people have been asking me on Instagram to do a hair regime so I thought maybe it'd be worth doing that because um, I don't really talk about my hair much to be honest so I thought it'd be something different and as you can see my hair is like a light blonde colour this isn't natural though, sadly. This is um, full head of highlights every six weeks. I don't really know what she uses other than bleach powder, obviously. Um, but I have it done every six weeks and I get a trim and that's six. I'm trying to grow my hair out, really. But it's getting there. <laughs> Slowly but surely. And naturally my hair is like a dark blonde, as you can see. And as you can also see, I have a full fringe, which is kind of bit kinked at the moment. I have lots of kinks in my fringe so that is why I have to wash my hair every day because if I don't then I can't style my hair so it's really frustrating but instead today I'm going to show you is basically what I do to wash my hair and style it and wherever else but to be honest I don't really do a lot with it so this shall be interesting <laughs> but also my hair is like um it's fine but there's lots of it so yeah it's quite easy to style really to be honest and it's quite flat as well I mean I haven't straightened my hair for like months well that's a lie I don't straighten the length of my hair but I do straighten my fringe so I haven't straightened the length of my hair in ages <laughs> so yeah enjoy the rest of the video and uh, I'll see you at the end of this video so I'm using this macadamia natural oil hair set which I got from my hairdresser I don't really know where she buys it from, but she gets it cheaper. But you can actually buy the set online on their macadamia website. And the set is really good for sort of dry hair. You've got um, a shampoo in there. You've got a deep hair repair mask, which is really good for dry hair. And you've also got a healing oil treatment, which you can use in your hair when it's sort of wet. And a detangle spray. And you've got comb as well to use with that set. Um, it's really good for blonde hair especially because obviously I have dry hair from bleach. So I would really recommend this for people with dry hair. And today I'm going to be using first of all the shampoo and the deep hair mask as well. The shampoo you just kind of obviously lather up in your hair. You don't really need a lot of it which is quite good. Um, so it lasts you for quite a while really. Um, see I've only got a 100ml bottle there. But like I said, it lasts for a long time. And the hair repair mask, you only need to use like twice a week really. Um, because it can be too oily otherwise. But you just leave it in for about five minutes and give it a rinse out. So I would probably say you can just feel it straight away after washing your hair. You can just feel the difference straight away. It's so good. <laughs> so yeah, that's the two items I'll be using first. So I'm going to get washed now. So now that my hair is all damp after having a shower, and the first thing I do is use a healing oil treatment. I use a tiny weeny bit of it as it can be a bit too greasy otherwise, and I just rub it all over in my hair while just drying it and it becomes really super soft. Or if I'm not really feeling the um, oil treatment, then I sometimes use a no-tangle spray instead of that because it's not as greasy. And all you do is just give it a few squirts um, across your hair and just rub it in, and yet again it does the exact same thing again. And I'll be using my GHG brush, which is amazing. It's a puddle brush, so it's a really big brush for long hair, which is great for styling. And another product that I use beforehand is the Mark Hill Beach Babe Sea Salt Wave Spray, which kind of gives my hair just a little bit more of a lift and a bit of a wave to it. So it has a bit more of a natural kind of wave look to it, as my hair is pretty straight. And for the end bit, I will be using my GHD straighteners, which are pink, beautiful bright pink. Um, they cost like £120, but they are so worth it. They've lasted me like five years. I'll be using that to straighten my fringe. So here I am, my just come out of the shower, damp hair look. Don't I look gorgeous? <laughs> so in this clip, I'm just drying my hair um, with the towel, first of all, to get rid of the real sort of wetness out of my hair. So it's just damp. I'm now using my healing oil treatment by Macadamia and I'm just going to use a tiny weeny little bit of this on my hands and I'm going to rub it into my hands and just rub it all over my hair starting from the top working my way to the bottom of the ends 
And then I'm also going to use a tiny wee bit in my fringe as well. Uh, not too much though because I see it'll make your roots a bit greasy. And I'll just keep on rubbing that in until it's all soaked in basically. Now I'm using my Mark Hill Holiday Hair Beach Babe Sea Salt Wave Spray. I'm just going to spray that all over my hair. Lovely, I'm enjoying that. <laughs> and uh, I'm just going to do that and then sort of scrunch it and give it some waves before drying my hair. I should have really shown you this beforehand, but this is my GHD brush um, that I use to brush my hair out with. So I should have really scrunched my hair after brushing my hair, so you know for next time that I should scrunch it afterwards. So I'm just going to brush it out because obviously it's quite knotty. Um, flat brushes are really good for sort of long hair really, and I always use it for styling with. So I brush all my hair out now and it's time to blow dry my hair. I usually use it on a medium heat so it's not too hot for my hair, obviously it damages your hair otherwise. And I use my flat brush to style with it. I take it to the top and bring it down to the bottom with my hair dryer and I just keep on styling it like that for a little bit. Now I'm going to curl my fringe under with a Avon brush because I like to give it a bit of a, a bit of a puffiness, you know, so it's a bit more sort of curled under, a bit more shaped. So as you can see, I'm just blowing my face at the moment. <laughs> and uh, it does look quite good once you sort of curled it under and everything. And then I just carry on sort of styling the rest of my hair, drying it. It takes absolutely ages. And I also sort of scrunch my hair too. So like it helps make more waves in my hair. Obviously my hair is quite straight so it's quite hard to get wavy so I also try twisting it whilst drying it. So yeah, I'm going to keep skipping this until we get to the part where it's dry because it's taking forever. Ta-da! So my hair is finally dry after about 15 minutes of drying my hair. <laughs> and my fringe looks really cold under. Yay! And last but not least, it's time to straighten my fringe just to sort of give it more shape really. I like to sort of curl it under with the straighteners. It makes it nice and smooth and if I've got any kinks, which I do have a lot of, then it just gets rid of those as well and it makes it sort of last all day as well. I really do highly recommend GHD straighteners. They are just amazing. Buy one. <laughs> and now I'm just going to brush it all out. And voila! So guys, this is the finishing look of my hair. It's poofy <laughs> and uh, fairly straight and I have a few waves in my hair. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like after doing everything I did to it. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video and it gave you some insight into maybe buying some new products for your hair. Uh, I definitely highly recommend the macadamia stuff because it makes your hair nice and soft and silky and you can feel it straight away within the first wash as well. Um, it can be a little bit pricey but it is really worth it and I wouldn't use anything else I don't think <laughs> so yeah um, I'm not sure what this next video is going to be after this one but if you have any video ideas that you want me to do then comment down below and I'll see you in my next video guys bye